I need this one. Guess I can close that in a little. Oh, totally off centered on this one. Let's see if we can fix that a little. Totally cut off on this one too. It's like you never know. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can get this party started. All these darn things I have to remember. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's see. Uh, there we go. Oh, there's Deanna. Good morning. Okay, it's all working. Hopefully everybody can hear me. My mic should be on for YouTube. Let's check. Yep, should be on. Hi, Daisy. Good morning. Hi, Debbie from Murrieta. Good morning. Oh, let me move this over so I can see better. Um, hello. Hi, Janet. Good morning. Hi, Jane in Florida and Patty in Michigan. Good morning. Hi, Sean Donny. Did I say that right? That's a beautiful name. Hi, Barbara. Good morning. Hi, April in Florida. Hi, Marianne. Good afternoon to you. Hi, Lugene. Hello. Good morning. Hi, Kathy in Texas. Good morning, Martha. Hi, Anna. Good morning. Beautiful top. Oh, thank you. It's just a t-shirt my mom bought me for my birthday. Um, cause you know, we, um, we have a family timeshare in, in Hawaii. So she bought me a, a, a t-shirt for Hawaii. <laughs> Hi, Jennifer. Good morning. Hi, Judy. Hello. Hi, Sula. Good morning. Uh, so we'll wait a couple of seconds before we really say anything. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Sheila. Good morning. Uh, let's see. Hi, Trina and Judy and Brenda and Connie. People are starting to hop on now. Um, Oh, thank you. I said it right. I said her name right. Yay. Hi, Don, Colorado. Uh, oh, Anna says it's a nice color on me. Thank you. Thank you. Jeannie, we are just starting. Yep. Uh, looks like we've been live about a minute and a half. So you didn't miss anything yet. I'm just saying hi to everybody. Hi, Jill. Great show last night. Thank you, Jill. Yeah, I had fun. I had fun. Hi, Teresa. Um, New York State. Teresa's in New York State. Hi, Carlotta. Good morning. Hi, Eleanor in Pennsylvania. Hi, Don in Colorado. Hi, Diane in, uh, I think it was Missouri, uh, Massachusetts. Uh, Laura in Idaho says, good morning. Hello, good morning, good morning. Hi, Kimberly. It's good afternoon for her. <laughs> Fun night watching the release last night. Yeah, it was. It was. And the crazy thing is, is Ken stayed up longer than I expected. He stayed up like, almost, I think, until 8 o'clock our time, which I was really surprised because he had to get up at 1 to do the um, shipments. So, uh, hi, Russ. Good morning. So, yeah, I was pretty impressed with him. Hi, Stephanie in Oceanside, right down the street, practically. Hi, Becky in Florida. Christmas, Florida. Isn't that cool? Um, hi, Cynthia. Good morning. Uh, hi, Sandy in Texas. And Janet, hello. And so, yeah, I think we got in most of our hellos. I think people are still hopping on. Uh, let's see. Yes. So let's do a recap of last night. Uh, thank you, April. Uh, hi, Sandy. Hi, Cindy. Oh, now a lot of people are hopping on. Hi, Susan. Uh, so yes, last night, uh, Jeannie says, loved your live last night. You went, what was that? Always fun to spend time with you and Ken. Thank you. Thank you. We have fun. Let me tell you, we have fun. Um, yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> hi, Francine. Good morning. Uh, hi, Teresa in New Long Island, New York. Uh, Russ says, Laura and I are now hooked on Tim Tams now, now. Ordered some from Amazon. Let me just tell you, we had the best, thanks to Susan in Australia, we had the best Tim Tam tasting on Saturday. So the boy, uh, my big boys came over, my nephews, Ben and Carter, and the babies didn't get any, I don't think, because they came over later. But my dad did his. And Susan, um, I hope you're here. It's nighttime for you, I know. But, oh, you know what? Do I not have my, oh, maybe I do have my notes here. So my, so Ben and Katie's favorite was the original. Uh, Carter's favorite was the double coat. Papa's favorite, my dad, is the double coat. My mom never gave me her favorite, and Ken didn't either. Brandon, my brother's favorite, was the chewy caramel, and I'm just like my brother. That was my favorite also, like, to die for. So, um, yeah, really excited about that. Jeannie says, my kid is already on its way. Um, please thank Ken for me. I will. I will. Merlin says, watching in San Diego, watching on my break. Yay! Yay for break times. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Great weekend, crazy weekend. Um, the family came over and then we um, trekked all to the beach. And parking at the beach here, you guys, is just 
insanity. So luckily Huntington beach has, um, a huge parking lot. So I don't, I didn't even pay attention to how much parking was, but, um, it wasn't so bad, but cause we could all go. So, um, it was really fun. We had a great time. The babies went in the water a little, mostly Miller, which was odd because usually it's Liam that wants to go in the water, but this time it was mostly Miller. Um, KK was there. My daughter, Katie was there. Uh, and she held Liam most of the time and he was happy with that. And they would kind of go out. So it was really fun. We had a really good day. Gloria, you haven't missed much, honey. We just started about five minutes ago, so you're good. You're good. Um, hi, Anne. Good morning. I did have a wonderful birthday. Thank you. Uh, afterwards, um, and then we came back home, and we had um, cake, uh, what Ken calls milk cake, which is really tres leche cake. Uh, it's actually my favorite. It's my dad's favorite, too. Um, although, I don't know if it's really his favorite, but he knows it's my favorite. So a lot of times he says that's his favorite. Um, my dad does that a lot. Like we'll go to a restaurant and I'll order something and he'll say, I'll have what she's having. I'm like, dad, get what you want. It's kind of funny. I don't know. Uh, so it's kind of crazy, but, uh, it's like my favorite cake and that literally the best cheapest place to get it. I don't know like where you live in the United States, but we have an Albertsons in Irvine. It's literally on our way home from church that we go to that has them in stock like all the time, which is really weird. They must sell a lot of cakes or something, but they are delicious. And the whole cake, I mean, it was like, you know, a nine inch circle or whatever. I don't know how big, but it was like $20. Now keep in mind my funnel cake, which lasted about half a serving uh, for me was 17 something. This whole cake was $20. It fed all of us. And I had extra cake yesterday and don't worry. I finished it off because I'm back on no more sweets for a while. I need to, I mean the last five days, especially with those Tim Tams, I literally have been eating nonstop sugar. So, uh, stopping that right now, boom. And we are going to, uh, cut out the sugar for a while. Cause I got a, I got way too much, uh, stuff this weekend, <laughs> but it was, it was a great time. Then my brother and uh, sister-in-law brought cookies from a place called crumble crumbles crumble. All I know is they are very, very expensive cookies. Um, they're like this big and they come like in a pack of six and they're different flavors. So we cut them all in fourths so everybody could have a little taste. Let me just tell you, we're all on a sugar high. We started with Tim Tams. Then after the beach, we went to cake and cookies and then more people were eating Tim Tams. I am just telling you, it was all, all sugar day, sugar day for everybody. Crumbles has some wonderful cookies. Dawn, yes, I believe it's true. They are delicious. However, yes, you guys know about it because yeah, it's crumble without the E. Yeah. Um, they are very good. Um, I'm sure they're very expensive. I'm, a, I'm afraid to look to see how much they are for a six, six, because the cookies are literally works of art. Each one, like the one the babies liked was like a big sugar cookie, but then it had gorgeous frosting in different colors on it. And then it had like some type of um, sprinkles on it that I've never seen before. It was absolutely amazing. So, um, yes, if you have an Albertsons, um, in Irvine, um, yeah, it's the one that's like in the middle of nowhere. It's to like, if you're going South on the 405, it's the one Quail Creek, I think it's called in that area. Let me just tell you, they have like 20 cakes to pick from and they're all fresh. And it, it's like, it's really kind of weird. Like, it's like, what do they do with the cakes that don't sell? I don't know, <laughs> but, um, it, it was, it was yummy. Um, Russ is picking out his. He said he's tried white, double dip, or car. Oh, he hasn't tried white, double dip, or caramel, but I'm leaning towards the original or dark mint. You know what? Some, um, it was funny. Um, and I did, we did a video of it. I got to get it on YouTube. But when Ben and Carter were tasting, doing the taste testing, um, they were like the only ones that could like seriously eat one of each right in a row because, you know, that's a lot. But uh, it was funny. Ben ate um, the mint one, the chocolate mint. And he goes, hmm. It's okay. It's kind of like if you were going to work and you needed fresh breath, you would want to eat this cookie. <laughs> I'm like, Ben, where did that come from? It's not like you go to work with fresh breath. You don't even know, you're 10. So it was really funny. It, it was, it was really funny. Um, so, but Kirsten liked the, the mint and I think Colin did too, because they were, it reminded them of the Girl Scout cookies, chocolate mint. So 
you know, it was really fun. And thanks again to Susan. Um, it was fun to have all those options to try. And, uh, oh, Cr Marianne says crumble cookies are coming to Georgia, War Warner Robbins, Georgia. Yay. Yay. That's exciting. Hi, Gloria. Good morning. Good morning. So yeah, the, we literally, Sandy says he's trying to be an adult. Yes, he is. He is. Um, we had the best day on Saturday. It was uh, the crumble cookies weigh like a half pound each. Rhonda, that is true. In fact, um, six pack of crumble cookies is only $15? Whoa, that doesn't sound right. That sounds way cheap. Um, <clears throat> the, uh, in fact, when they handed me the box, I went like this because it was so heavy. Not, you know, because you're thinking cookies aren't going to be heavy. And I go, Kenny, feel how heavy this box is. It was only six cookies. And he's like, whoa, that is pretty heavy. So, um, oh, hang on. Uh, Susan says, good morning, Stephanie. Just wanted to thank you for your recommendation on the leggings on Amazon. I bought some to wear to the uh, scrap weekend I was at this past weekend. And oh man, they are the best. You know what? They really are. They're like the butter soft. Um, they're really, really soft. And I love pockets. I, I am a pocket girl. I have to have pockets in my leggings and those Capri leggings are the best because they have those pockets. So I think you could also pick the longer leggings too with those pockets, but I love them. Sandy says they're $4 each here for the crumble cookies. Maybe I guess it depends on where, um, you, um, you go. Um, we, Allison, we didn't have an elephant fold it last night. We had an elephant little peep. It's an elephant little peep and it, it's on the website. So if you don't see it on the website, click F5 at the top of your keyboard to refresh your screen. Um, so a six pack by Lori is $19, which isn't that bad. I expected it to be a lot more. I, I did because they literally are works of art. So um, I bet in California, they're probably the most expensive because we have taxes on breathing here in California. Hi, Nancy. Nancy, I got to show off my, uh, the, um, the, the play mat, car mat. I don't know what we were calling it, but um, everybody else was more even way into it too. Karen says, oh my gosh, I bought the leggings too and was extra surprised. There's three in the pack. I know you guys, if you're like me, I'm not wearing them today because it's really hot, but I wear these Capri leggings. They're on my Amazon Stephanie's favorites. They have pockets, but it's a three pack. And let me just tell you, they are what they call the buttery soft. They literally, and they wash really well, you guys. They wash really well. Um, they are like so soft. They're, I mean, you could wear them for pajamas. That's how cozy they are. So if you ever need it, if you ever need, oh, and their menu changes every week at Crumble. That's true. So if you ever need leggings, and I, I do believe they have the longer leggings too. They are so soft. So just a heads up. And Lori says in California, they're probably $50. <laughs> Knowing, yeah, probably. Um, uh, let's see. Rachel said, I just, I just got here. A new job started today, feeding Catholic kids and daycare. Hello. Oh, awesome. Congratulations on the new job, Rachel. That's awesome. That's awesome. Debbie says we cut quarters and everyone gets a taste of all the flavors. Yeah, that's what we did with those cookies. And it was really fun because that way you're not, um, oh, okay. Um, that way where you're not like going, oh, you know, uh, I don't want to eat a whole one. I mean, because I don't honestly, I don't think you could eat a whole one by yourself. Um, they're just huge, but they're delicious. But yeah, if you cut them in quarters like we did or even smaller pieces, because sometimes you just want a little taste and it was really fun. Is really fun. Hi, Mustang Barb. Hello, my love. So uh, Susan said, had to set an alarm to watch to see your favorite was. Thank you, Susan. Susan, we had so much fun. And my whole family was like floored that you sent all these to us. Um, so Ben and Carter got to take a, their favorites home. They got to take a package home, which they were like jumping up and down, which was really cute. And then I sent a couple of the duplicates to the office for Faileen and Maria. Um, I was being very good and I was sharing, which is very hard to share Tim Tams because let me just tell you guys, the only problem, okay, here's the problem with Tim Tams. This is the only negative. When you have a package on your desk that is already opened, it is so easy while you're working on your computer to grab one and eat it and not know you've done it. 
I think I ate like four or five before I realized it was almost gone. And I'm like, what are you doing? Stop. Because they are just so succulent. They are just delicious. So, um, oh, okay. So the cookies in Riverside are $22.50, but 18 in Idaho. Yeah. See, in California. Yeah. Susan. Oh, they're just so delicious. We had so much fun. Thanks to you. Um, Stephanie, where did you get your pink plates? Oh, um, so these are, this is a funny story. I bought, I used this last night. I use them for, as trays. I bought these for, um, the boys in blue and, uh, they're really handy. What I like one, they're made in the USA and it's a smaller company. They're on Amazon and I, I linked it on my page, but they're, you know, you, they're, they're normally plates. So you have, you know, food for the kids or whatever, but I use them on an, You've seen me use them in the last couple of videos, but I use them for dyes that I've already cut out that I'm using for projects. The nice thing though, is they're also, and actually I grabbed some of the boys. I have them here because they stack. So when I'm doing projects, I can literally have my dyes in there and then they stack and then I can keep stacking them for different things. So this I'm working on something you can't see yet because that's a, a sneak, but, um, they're really nice. So they stack their machine wash, dishwasher, you know, they can wash them in the dishes and all, I mean, dishwasher and everything, but they're really handy and they're very, they're very sturdy and thick. It's funny. I bought these for the babies and then I went to Kirsten's house and she had the same company, but a square version for the babies. So it was really fun. But yeah, these are, these are really nice. Um, they're perfect for crafting. And then, you know, I can, I can just stack them. So that's, and they're on my Amazon also, but they're just handy to have. I, I spent a lot of time finding what I wanted for the divided trays. Um, and I, I don't know, I really like it. And May says, just curious, how do you come up with so many amazing products? Do the ideas just come to you or is it an ongoing process? Well, and Mays, you want to know something really funny? Last night I couldn't sleep. I have, I have serious problems sleeping. Um, my daughter thinks it's because of the antidepressant I'm on. Um, I'm on Wellbutrin. I've talked about that multiple times, but, um, and that one's kind of like, I don't know. She was telling me all this blah, 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 but long story short and I can't show you, but on this side, I woke, I was laying in bed trying to fall asleep, couldn't fall asleep. So I started thinking of ideas and I'm like laying there going, oh yeah, I want a dye that does this. And I'm like, okay, yeah, you can do that. And then I'm laying in bed talking to myself and I'm like, okay, well, yeah, if you did that and I go, wait a minute, we already have a dye that with a little modification that the customer would make would do what I wanted it to do. So in other words, you, 99% of you already have a die that I was going to create a little tiny bit differently, but I'm like, no, you already have a die that I, if you just do this one little tweak to it, you don't have to buy it. You already have it. And so I'm like, oh my gosh, that's awesome. And so then I'm like, okay, that's a really good idea. So I'm laying there and then I'm like going, okay, now I want a die that does this. And I'm like, okay, so you would do this. You would do this. I'm like, wait a minute. What if they use this other die and did this and this to it, then it would make that. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. So I did wake up and I'm, I'm going to do a freak fla a pretend flash. Woo. So there's all the ideas. I literally was writing. I'm like, okay, I'm drawing, I'm sketching it out. I'm like, okay, this is how they would do it. This is what they would use. This is what we're going to do. And so then I came up with another idea while I was sitting here. So I'm writing that down. And then I came up with another diet. <laughs> so that's why I can't sleep at night because my brain won't stop. And so I'm really excited about that. I don't know how we're going to do that. It's too, it's more complicated that I couldn't do it on a, okay. I don't want to say complicated because it's not complicated, but it's a really, they're really cool techniques that are too advanced for a crafting corner. So, um, I don't know. I'm thinking about maybe turning it into, I actually on the top of my, um, on the top of that sheet, it says two for one class, meaning the die you already have, or you could purchase if you don't have it, you would, you would, you, if you had that die, not only would it do what it's supposed to do, but I'd make it do something else. So it's like that die is two for one kind of thing. So yeah, I'm kind of thinking it sounds like a class, but it would be a class where you wouldn't get anything mailed to you because 99% of you already have it all. So it would be way cheaper. It would be, um, you know, the, the, 
The digital part of it would be the same where you'd have some homework. You would, um, we would do it live, kind of like everything, but you already have all the products. Or, I mean, there's a chance you might not have one, but they're all basic products. And so I'm like going, oh my gosh, how can we do this? Well, uh, so I, I'm still working out the, the details and things like this, but I'm really excited about it. And as you can tell, cause I'm like freaking out, but I, I'm thinking, I'm almost thinking we're going to call it a two for one class where you take a die you already have and you make it do something else. So LLTP GH says you are so creative. Hope you do, did get some sleep. Yes, I did get some sleep. Um, so yeah. So, um, Phyllis says, thank Ken for lower shipping costs. Thank you, my love. Um, Oki says, I have sleep issues too. My body is exhausted, but my brain won't turn off. I've tried everything. It's so frustrating. It's so true. Like I literally, I mean, I've tried everything. I've tried, I, I've tried praying, just like getting all my prayers for the rest of the day out. You know, like if I haven't prayed about something lately, I pray about that. But then my mind starts thinking about something over here and then over here. And then I forget that I was praying. And then, uh, like I'll say, okay, just count your breaths. One, and then I count my breaths and I get to about three and then I start thinking about something else. <laughs> um, it's like, it's absolutely insane. Sandy says, I have to quit watching the new makeup Mondays. I get too excited. I know. See, I get all wound up too. Um, so yeah, sleeping is a severe issue for me. Um, I have medication. I have to take sleeping pills a lot because I just literally can't shut the brain down. Um, because it just keeps going. So, I mean, I think about, I, I think about anything and everything. I think about something Ken told me when I was like 17 years old. I mean, like, I just think of like this random crap and I go, Kenny, what are you thinking about? And he goes, nothing. I'm like, how can you not think about anything? I've thought about four things since I've asked you that question. <laughs> um, so yeah. Um, Bonnie says it must be a creative mind. I have the same issues. You know what? I think, um, Tina says I, I got insomnia from taking, cancer meds. Oh yeah. I think it is. Um, uh, I think it is a creative thing. It could also be like the ADHD kind of thing where, you know, I just, I'm like in 16 different places all the time. Um, I'm just like, yeah, Nancy says she's in the no sleep club too. Usually end up reading math books or math videos. Yeah. And I've tried like everything. I mean, I, they, I have earplugs in, I have, you know, the fan on, I, I mean, and Ken seldom snores anymore. So that's not it keeping me awake. And then if I hear a noise in the middle of the night and I wake up and my heart starts pounding, never going back to sleep, just let it go. You're not going back to sleep. So, um, it's, it's just absolutely crazy. Um, the, the circus class is coming back soon, Allison, but that's a re-release. So it would be on the 25th of the month, the 25th by any chance. Will the hello die become a full alphabet? Um, interesting question, Lisa. I really hadn't thought much about that, but um, it would be really expensive. But if we used the hello die size and we just did, cause like a lot of those, you already have a lot of those letters, like love, if you have love, then you have the V and the E. I don't know, we'll have to look into that. Let me, um, let me write that down in my ideas book. Oops, that's my prayer book. Um, because I, we had a four inch alphabet, but we, I think we did, um, uh, finish that one off. I think it, it got discontinued, but let me, let me, let me use that. And we would use the hello as a, um, alpha. Sorry, you got to write down. So I remember what it is. Okay. Um, yeah, that's an interesting idea. Um, Francine says I have, um, to, I have to reading for at least 30 minutes before I can sleep. Otherwise I am awake all night with a busy brain. Yeah. And I do have, a um, uh, Speed Cat Bat says I keep my eyes closed when I wake up in the night. It helps to fall back asleep. That's a good thing. My, our room is completely dark. I mean, it's just like, there are so many crazy things that I just, um, Deborah, yes, most definitely. Not, I will, I won't, it, the witch hat fold, it wouldn't come this year, but it would come, um, I, I'm thinking probably next year. 
Um, I do read my Kindle. I have the paper white. So, you know, cause they say the blue lights from the TV or the iPad aren't good. So I, when I read, I read, um, from my paper white Kindle, which I'm in love with. There's only one design flaw, which I wish they would have asked me this, but Oh, here it is right here. So on my Kindle, which I'm in love with, by the way, my pa paper white, cause you can read it when you're at the beach cause you can see it, but there's only one design flaw. The off button is on the bottom. And so when you lay it on the table, if you lay, like lean it on the table like this, it turns off. Like, are you freaking kidding me? And you can't turn the text so you do it upside down so the off button is on the top. Like Amazon, how could you have designed it where the button is at the top, bottom, and when you lay it against the table to read, because sometimes you don't want to hold it up, right? So you lay it on the table to read. No, it'll turn off. Like, are you kidding? <laughs> this is not the first one they came out with. This is like the, I think it might even be the most recent one. Like, are, somebody should be fired. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who's, why is it on the bottom? And it's a real button. I mean, I'm just like, I'm flabbergasted. And you don't even have the way, you can't turn it this way. I'm like, I do, Susan says use a plate uh, stand. I do have my, um, I do have my iPad stand that I do use because then the, the button can be on um, in the inside right here where the cord would go. I can do that. But when you're at the beach, you don't want to take one of these with you. And so if you lay it, like if you lay it too close to your stomach, it'll turn off. It is just, Reagan says she's never had that problem with her Kindle. Do you have this one? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, and I, I don't know which one this is. Um, but it's a fairly new one. I think it's the newest one I have. Cause I, I got into the fires and I'm like, no, 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 you don't want those, those backlights. Um, I could use, I could use a stand. I, I mean, I make a stand. Oh, how come it's not turning on? Yeah. But I do love it. I really do love it. It's just that's that's like like a a non-reader developed that design. Yeah, exactly. Um, designer probably thought everyone would use a tablet stand with Kindle. Yeah, and you don't. When you're laying in bed, you don't want a table. You don't want a, a stand on your on your belly, right? Um, that's crazy. I don't know what how to know what um, how to know what version this is. I don't know if it'll tell me. Hang on, let me see. Uh, No, that's about the book. Hang on. Give me one more second. Okay. Um, all settings. Let's see. Yeah. But other than that, I love it because literally you can read it in the, in the sunshine. Uh, oh, I don't say, I don't know. My account registered user, Stephanie. Oh, device name. It's, oh, the, you get to name it. And this is Stephanie's fifth Kindle. <laughs> It really is. Uh, I don't know. I don't see it. I don't know. I don't know. But whatever. But other than that, I love it. Uh, Cordy says, just bought those leggings. I can't wait to get them. Can't believe you get three for like 20 bucks. I know. I know. Those, I'm telling you guys, once you wear those leggings, you're going to, you're going to like really like me. <laughs> um Deborah says, I have a case with a hand strap on the back. It's slightly longer, so the off button isn't impacted as easily. Oh, that's a good idea. My Kindle off switch, you have to slide to the right. See, now that would be better. Um, Francie says, what kind of stories do you like to read? Um, I, my, my, mo the, one of the authors that I've been really enjoying is, where is her name? Uh, let's see, where'd it go? Uh, come on, where's your name? Uh, about this book, I think, about this book. Um, her name is actually Kirsten. It's K-I-E-R-S-T-E-N, Modglin, M-O-D-G-L-I-N. Now, you can't ask me what book I'm reading because I usually read a book a day when I'm reading. Um, I haven't read in a couple, about a week. But um, so I, I usually find the list of, and she's on Kindle Unlimited, so you can do Kindle Unlimited with her, um, which I think it's like $8 a month. I don't know what it is, but um, she uh, she has like, I would guess 30 books, and I think I'm probably like middle, middle through. So I usually go through all of them. 
Ponzi says, I ordered the last MIDI. Can't wait to receive it. When will you be getting more plastic folders? I know. I know. We have them on order. Um, we have those on order. We have some other idea on things on order, like the double-sided die cutting plates. Somebody had requested those. They're not going to be in stock and at, at Crafters Companion. I think they said October. So, um, yeah, it's crazy. Allison says, how do you know what size to get in the leggings? I've never been able to get the right size online. Um, I believe I got, hang on. I think I put the size I got. Let me see. Let me go really quick. Because uh, I usually try to list what size I wear. So it'll give you kind of an idea. Um, okay, so I have the small medium. And I do have six pairs. I bought it twice because I love them. But, and I don't want to have to wash them all the time. Um, uh, so I wear small, medium, and usually like in jeans or something, I would wear probably a size four. Um, so, so I would guesstimate size four for um, small, medium. And then I think they have medium, large, and then I think they have extra large. Oh, so Karen says they only have two sizes, small, medium, so for that, or large, extra large. So um, depending, on, um, depending on that. Oh, Susan says, where do you find your favorites Amazon list? It's on our website. And then if you go to the top, there's a little um, at the top bar, it says Stephanie's favorites. So you would just click on that. And then it lists, I mean, it, it lists everything. Everything I talk about mainly just because I want people to be able to know um, what I'm talking about. Speaking of, we need to do our cards. Everybody, I got tons of cards. So I'm, I got to have to show you all these cards that I got now. If you sent a card in and I did not, and I do not show it right now, I have another shipment coming to me from the office tonight. So it will be on the next Monday video. Okay. So, um, just a heads up on that. If I don't show it, that's just because it's going to be in the next, it doesn't mean it was late for my birthday. It just means I haven't gotten it yet. So Susan made me this one. Absolutely gorgeous using the, um, the, the flower, which I love. This is one of my Mother's Day flowers that I use for our banner. And then this one, you guys, I love using that poinsettia for a regular flower, flower again by Susan. So pretty. Um, Susan made me a beautiful uh, envelope as well. And then let's see. Uh, okay, let's grab some. I have a lot of cards, you guys. This one is cute. This one is by Cheryl, Gold Club member. So pretty. Love it. Love it. Um, this is a cute one. Oh, oh, this one's from Laura Taylor. Look, it's our little t-shirt. I love it. I love this. Oh, wait, I got to get back on YouTube. I'm not back on YouTube. There we go. Um, so that one is by, who did I say? Laura. Look how gorgeous this one is by Lupe. So beautiful. Open it up. Love it. And it's that pretty flower. I love that flower. Here's, here's, oh, this one's, oh my gosh. I don't, this one, look how cute this one is. Hang on. Um, Oh, yes. So this is from Sue in Michigan. Notice she has her little state on there, Michigan. Now, Sue also has a picture of you being there because she, thank you so much, Sue, sent me some dandelion seeds for UB and Katie's garden. So thank you very much. Um, we haven't gotten those to her yet, but we will get them to her so she can get those um, uh, planted which is exciting. Thank you. Um, this is from Jill Kennedy. Isn't it cute? The little guy holding all the flowers. Oh, and then in the inside, it says, hope your day is filled with flowers, which is so cute because, you know, she's holding all those flowers. Um, here's a cute one. This is by Sandy, and I saved the envelope because she used the washi tape. Happy birthday at the back. So I'm doing, I'm working on more washi tape too with words. And then look how gorgeous this is. Happy birthday. So cute. Here's a cute one, and and I can't I can't pronounce the name. I can't I I'm, I'm getting Norley I think it is. But look how cute that is. I love that cute coffee mug or, or hot chocolate mug. Then I got one from Chris, which I saw this one on Instagram, so that was fun. And she said instead of say eat cake, she scratched out and put s'mores, which was fun. Um, here's another one. Oh, another person using the um washi tape and I'll cover her address but look she even used it, the washi tape in the front and this is from Elizabeth look at the cute little nomad I love it I love it and she's got her little personalized stamp on the back uh, just from you from Elizabeth using the uh, llama 
Uh, let's see. I got you guys. I got so many. This one's from Larissa. Look how cute that is. Cheers. Open it up. And look, there's her cute little stamp on the back. I love seeing all the different stamps, you guys. This one's cute. This is the gatefold card, but turned sideways. The banana split and open it up. It's your birthday. Calories don't count on holidays, which is true that, right? Here's a fun one by Gammy Inc. It says, and see, there she's got a personalized stamp on the back. Open it up. Happy birthday. This one's from Cindy Hunt, another Gold Club member. Uh, this is a cute one from Gloria. Look how cute that is. My friend Stephanie. I love it. And then this one also is from Gloria. And I, it was cute because Kirsten and Katie are like, this is a work of art. Because she has so much fun stuff on here. This is one from Gloria, Gold Club member. Open it up. And then even on the back... Look, the back is even decorated. Isn't that gorgeous? This has got to be like three inches thick, huh, Gloria? Look, I mean, it just has so many gorgeous buttons and foam, and, and it's got it all on it. So I love it. And it's got cute little Stephanie in the corner where right I hear. There you go. Love it. And there's Gloria on the inside. Love it. I love it, love it, love it. Here's a fun one using the A1. Um, this is from Michelle using the A1 um, heart. And she said she was, I remember reading this one. She said, she was so happy that she got the, she wanted a heart flip it for years. She wanted the A2 size, but this one is okay because it's the A1. Well, A2 is coming. A2 is coming. That's all I'll say. Uh, here's a fun one. This one is from Dawn Young, and she used the envelope liner die, which is so appropriate, right? I know. And look at this, you guys. Just a note to say... Are you, as you celebrate your birthday, warmest wishes go your way for all that makes you happy on this very special day from Dawn in New Jersey. Isn't that beautiful? So beautiful. And ooh, I think that might be it. I think that's it. Oh, and then Carol gave me the most beautiful sign for being a grandma, which is cute. And she wrote a nice message on the back and she included a picture of the babies. And I had forgotten this picture, so it was really fun. But it says, blessed is she who spoils and snuggles, hugs and hopes, prays and pampers, for she will be call shall be called grandma. So that is really sweet. And then she also gave me a beautiful sand dollar from Pismo Beach. So I, um, she knows I love sand dollars. And this is like the whitest one I've ever seen in my life. It is like so beautiful. She got that in Pismo Beach. So that was really special. So it'll be added to my sand dollar collection, which is so fun. So if I didn't show your card, that just means it's coming in the next batch. Um, Ken, just a reminder, Ken only goes to the office two days a week and then he works from home the rest of the days. And so when the mail comes on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday or Saturday, then I get it the following Monday when he comes in. So um I'm sorry. I keep hitting my car, my phone. Cause I'm getting all these texts. Um, so yeah, so, uh, that I will show the rest next Monday. If there's any others, if I didn't get to show yours. So Meg said, just got here. So happy. I'm in time for the cards. I know. I know. Um, I read washi tape has expiration dates. Um, Bonnie, I've never had any issues. Sometimes eventually it might lose its sticky, but I'm using washi right now. The yellow, this one, that um, we did literally at least five years ago, at least. And it's still very, very sticky. As you can see, it's, it's holding onto my fingers. So, um, I mean, eventually, I mean, probably in 10 years, it might not be as sticky. But yeah, yeah. Um, Tar Darlene says, most talented crafters on earth. I agree. I agree. Meg says, just a note would be awesome for washi. Oh, I will write that down. Because, yeah, I want to do some more words. And um, uh, hang on. Let me start a new page for washi tape. Uh, just a note would be cute. So, um, yeah. So I'm really excited about those. I know. Great work to all the crafters. I know. Love them. Hi from Kristen. Hello. Hello. Um Anne says, I heard you once said you had a turtle. I love turtles. Yes. So our tortoise's name is Yubi. Uh, Yubi has been the most adventurous tortoise ever. I don't know how you would ever find the videos, but Yubi once ran away. 
And when I say ran, I kind of actually mean it because we had to hire a dog to um, literally sniff her and they found her 24 hours after she disappeared half a mile away from her house. So um, that was pretty amazing. That, that ha actually has a um, blog post somewhere. Uh, Allison says, if yours becomes not sticky, just put it in the microwave for 10 seconds and it becomes sticky again. Oh, it's magic. Magic. Wow. Wow. Um, Connie says, I have washi I'm using, and it was from the um, June 2015 Kit Club. Okay, so that's seven years old. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, um, yeah, so Yubi's been on a lot of adventures. Yubi also was found at the bottom of our pool of our old house. Um, and I honestly can say I can do CPR on a tortoise. Uh, we took her, we, long story, it's a horrible story, but, uh, we, um, I jumped in fully clothed, got her out, um, started pushing cause you know, her shell is hard. So I started pushing right here to get the water out and, um, she is now fine. She might be a little bit slower in the brain. We don't know. Cause it's kind of hard to tell with the tortoise, but she's, she survived, which was amazing. She was able to shut down her body like in hibernation mode. So it was pretty amazing. Uh, Ponzi says, did you show a sneak peek on your video last night? Like a rectangular platform of some kind, not the die from the kit, but actual platform. I don't know, Ponzi. I don't remember. Was it a die? Was it a die? Um, cause that, that funny looking rectangle thing comes in the card kit. Marianne says, hi, Stephanie. My birthday is tomorrow, but went out to dinner to celebrate and had a creme brulee. Oh, oh. as I was eating my creme brulee on Thursday night at Maggiano's, I told Kenny, I said, Kenny, flan or creme brulee or custard is my favorite. And then he said, oh, do you like pudding? I go, no, pudding is not custard or flan or creme brulee. Those are like, besides the trace leche cake are my favorites. So, um, very, yes. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Love that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm trying to think if there was anything else. Um, Yvette said, I think the card with the two elephants on one, you said was a sneak peek might be what she's talking about. Well, let's look, Ugh. you know, that was a long time ago for me. So, <laughs> uh, with the two elephants on it, not this one right? Not that one. Uh, let's see. Oh my gosh, you guys, I think this one wins. This was my favorite with the elephant. Absolutely love that one. Um, hang on. I'm, I'm still looking. Okay. Not that, not that, not that, not that, not that. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm just going as fast as I can here. Um, I don't see one. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know. Oh, what's that? No. Oh my gosh, you guys, these flowers are to die for. Look at those flowers. Aren't they awesome? I love them. I love those flowers. Um, uh, Ponzi says, Karen, thank you. Yes. It looked like a stand up platform die. Yes. That's the one that comes in the kit. The pop-up card, somebody said. Could it be the A1 box? It folded different in the middle. Oh, gosh. See, I totally don't know now, you guys. Sorry. My mind is, like, blank. Um, it looked like a new card base. Huh! I don't remember. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, I looked through all of those. I don't know. We'll find out, I guess, right? I don't know. Um, do you ever re-release stamp sets from card kits? Kathy wants to know. Is there one in particular you really are interested in, Kathy? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Pull up, Stephanie. It was a pull up. Oh, was it in the video? Not the video. It stands up and the fold is in the middle. Yes, you showed it last night. I have no idea, guys. I thought I showed all, I saw all the cards. Hang on. See, now I'm all into it. I'm all, did it have an elephant on it? Oh, was it, could it have been in the, not the live, but in the video? If it was the one that was in the video, but not the live, then yes, that was a sneak peek. Yes, okay, now I know, it, it pulled up. Yes, 
That is coming soon. That is coming soon. Sorry. Now I'm getting it. Now I'm getting it. Meg says, I can hardly wait to get my card kit this month. That special die is going to be so useful. It is. Just saying. Yeah. So um, I think that's what it is. It was in the car the video, but not the not the live last night, I don't think. I don't think. Um, okay, hang on, Kathy. Let me write this down really quick. Um, May 2022 card kit. Okay. May 2022 card kit stamp set. Yeah, we sometimes, um, usually when we have extras of those, we um, will put them on the website usually like six to eight months later, but yes. Um, Ponzi says, thank you, Stephanie. Sorry to sidetrack you. Oh, honey, that's what I'm, that's my life. I'm used to it. Don't worry. I get sidetracked every day. Every second of my life is sidetracked. No, I, I like the answer. Um, hi, Sandra D. Sorry. I'm like, you know what? It's okay. You get to watch later. So no worries. No worries. So you guys, you know what? I need to head out. Um, I have a lot to do today. I think I have a, um, oh, conference call in three minutes. So I better go. Um, but Thank you all so much for your love, your support, and your prayers. There are some flash sale prices still up and available. If you missed um, the elephant or the card base, I think there should be some left. So make sure you check those out. Um, I will see you Thursday for a crafting corner, 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. And yeah, so take it easy. Have a great day. Um, and I will see you Thursday. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.